chopping off some of this hair. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. There's only one. There's only one. It's only one. Just only one. Just love and happiness, beauty and hope. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today we've got a hair video, and um, the last hair video that we did. It wasn't so great. I was just kind of letting you guys know that there's an issue with my hair. I think I was wearing the same shirt. It's shedding way more than it normally does. But I was letting you guys know that I'm having issues with my hair. A lot of you guys said that it could be because of COVID, why I'm having these issues. Because um, I had COVID twice and a lot of people said like their hair was falling out after COVID, their hair was thinning and stuff like that. And I feel like I really noticed a lot of thinning um, sometime around March. I feel like around March, I realized that a lot of my hair was coming out in the shower. This was the last time that I had a really good braid out. Actually, I did a, a twade out, like a twist at the top. Of, no, braid at the top and twist at the bottom, like a burst out. I don't know, but I did that in this picture and I feel like it turned out really, 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 really good. Even though that day I washed my hair, a lot of my hair came out. Um, I still had enough on my head to, to withstand. But since then, that was March, we're in June now. It's been three months. I've had a lot of hair washes where a lot of my hair has come out. I'm noticing a lot of breakage in areas where I'll show you in a second. So I've come to the decision that um, if my hair does not look the way I want it to look after I take out what's underneath here, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut my hair off. I'm gonna cut you off. I just, I can't, I can't with the like, oh, I have length but it's thin. Like I can't, I just can't do it. And y'all know me, I'm not afraid to cut my hair off. I am afraid to walk around with like really short hair cause I will cut my hair off and put some braids in. I will, I don't care. But I'm not afraid to cut my hair off, so I will. So anyways, let's just get into, this is just, it's like do or die. This, I told my husband, I'm like, look, I'm gonna do a braid out. I haven't really done um, a braid out. Well, I did a twist, that, like twist on the top. Wait, what did I do? Okay, in the back I did like braids on the top and then twist on the bottom and then at the top I just did all twists and we're just gonna see. I came to that final conclusion when the other day I put my hair in a low bun. And you know back in the day I had to do it in like eight sections. This time I only had to do it in two. I was like, mm -mm, my hair is not the same. With that being said, without further ado, we're just gonna take these out and if it doesn't give what I want it to give, we're cutting her. We're cutting her. I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, hold on. Oh my God, this top part is so, then I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Y'all can't see it, it's okay. Just, there's a lot of really, really short pieces in my hair because of course the, the top is much thicker than the bottom of my hair and I'm like, I think it's because my hair was like breaking off. I don't know, child, but let me get the hair oil. I'm gonna use this hair and scalp oil by a Curl Can Dream and I'm gonna, it's on my hands. Do I wanna cut my hair? Kind of, I mean, I kinda wanna, you know, the back of my hair feels good. The back of my hair still feels like there's hope. Yeah, I mean, I have two options. Like if my hair doesn't come out the way I want it to, there's two options. One, I could try, I could just give myself a really good trim, like cut off like two, three inches or something and see if I can just bring my hair back to life. Like what's left back to life. Or I can just kind of just start all over which is definitely what I want to do. I kind of want to know what you guys want to see because I mean, at the end of the day, I'm always gonna do what's best for me, but I also wanna know like, what video is more helpful? Like, are other people in my position and they wanna know how to bring their hair back to life because they don't want a big chop? Or are you just like, girl, we're all out here about the big chop again and we wanna know how to grow our hair back out from a big chop, like, where are we at? Me, I don't know, I just wanna start all over. I really just wanna start over. I love watching my hair grow out, you know, nice and healthy. Like, I just don't wanna hold on to something that's like, it's dead. You know, we all talk, y'all know. If it's over, it's over, you know? So far, it's looking not too bad back here. The back, I wasn't really worried about the back. It's really more so the top of my head that has been just, a complete joke. This isn't horrible. All right, let's do the other side.
Okay, so I'm done with the back. I will say I'm kind of proud of how the back turned out. It's still not 100% what it used to be, but this one, the back is 100% salvageable. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys. Like I said, it's not as thick as it used to be, but with some separating and like some fluffing and then just with some TLC and some nice hair oiling massages, we could get the back back right. I don't think the back is anything I need to worry about. She looks good back here, okay? I'm not concerned about her. What I'm concerned about is this top part of my hair. It's just, you can just tell the top don't have, like, this is the full whole half of my hair. Wait, what? This is the full front half of my hair, and this is how thin it is in these twists. So I know, well, I don't know for a fact, but I'm just very highly assuming. Sorry, hold on. You know, I have so many, like, hair clips and stuff. I need to make a trip to the hair store because all my hair stuff just has disappeared. It's like, I can't believe, I don't know. So. Uh-uh. Hello? Hi, this is Sarah from Walmart Customer Service. We have noticed some suspicious activity on your Walmart account for shopping purpose. So, I'm gonna laugh when this turns out perfectly fine and um, and there's like no use for this video, but I just know that's not my testimony. I know it. Oh, this, wait, th I found what I wanted to show y'all. Okay, it's not focused, but I'm seeing a lot of this in the front of my hair. You see that? It's not quite the same length as what this is. There you go. So there's a lot of breakage, a lot of breakage in the front of my hair. So I think that has a little bit to do with why the top is so thin. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like the top part, this top part is just thicker than the rest of my hair. It just gets so thin. I don't know. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. Maybe I am tripping. I don't know, but no, I do. No, I don't think I'm tripping, but maybe I am. I don't know. If anyone tries to tell me I'm tripping, bro, look at this front piece. Yeah, <laughs> Lord have mercy. This is what the front is looking like. I feel like it's a little scant, but okay. Let's do this side. Okay, so here we are. I mean, the definition is fine. I don't know, it's like it's not horrible. I don't know, I feel like y'all, I don't know, y'all about to be like, girl, you're overreacting, but I just feel like it's so much thinner. But I'm gonna go through and separate my hair and I'm just gonna, I'm literally just doing the same exact process that I always do. So I'm gonna separate and then I'm gonna fluff and then I'm going to see how it feels. But I don't know y'all, I know my hair and this just is not, this is not giving. Like if y'all really want me to keep this, what is these? It's just so much like stragglier than it used to be. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's my hair um, separated, which again, it's not horrible. It really is just the front pieces that are really just thin, like the back. I, if the back looked like the front, what we wouldn't be having this conversation, but it doesn't. Um, I feel like y'all not feeling me. I feel like y'all aren't feeling me. I can hear it through the screen right now. Y'all like, girl, it's fine. But it's like not fine to me. I mean, I can get away with going like this, I can get away with. Okay, let me show y'all what my problem is. I can do the half up, half down, right? Okay, we'll put this up here just to make it fair. But this is what the up looks like. That's how much hair I have up here. The top is completely just thinned out. The back survived. All right, so now we're going to stretch my hair. I feel like y'all are judging me. I can feel it, I can feel it through the camera. Alright, one side definitely came out better than the other. Like this side looks fuller, more full. I don't know. Maybe I just want to cut my hair. <laughs> Alright, I will say, I don't know why, but I need to get my, this side is really much more giving what I'm used to, and this side is giving how I feel like my hair actually looks. Can you tell the difference? I mean, there's nothing a quick shape up or whatever can't fix. The reason why I'm upset right now is because my hair is such a catfish and she's making me look like I'm insane because I know that my hair is different. I can feel it when I'm washing it. 
I don't have to part it in like a hundred sections anymore when I detangle, when I like deep condition and like apply conditioner, like when I'm putting it in low buns, I can literally just like go straight back and just do it. I was never able to do that before. Just a year ago when my hair was so much more full, I just feel like my hair is very much catfishing and making me look like a liar. But I'm not gonna lie and say like, oh, my hair looks horrible right now, because it doesn't look horrible. But I feel like it's nothing a quick, like two to three inches can't fix. I do think I'm gonna cut my hair a little. I mean, the front of my hair is just, there's just nothing there. Like this part for sure, my hair doesn't really start until like back here. I feel like that's another reason why I'm, cause I'm missing like this, this much of hair. All of this is, this is literally what the, the front of my hair looks like. It's nothing. I feel like that's another reason why the front of my hair does feel so thin. I guess I just need to um, start taking care of my hair again. That would probably help. I need to go back to the basics. Like I need to rewatch some of my old videos, start getting some of those products again, go back to deep conditioning once a week, hot oil treatments, like actually, and when I say deep conditioning, I mean like putting the deep conditioner in, coming out the shower, putting a shower cap on, like letting it sit for like an hour. Like lately I've just been like putting the deep conditioner in, shaving, taking a quick shower, and then like rinsing it out and then like rinsing I don't know, you know, like I've been doing the five to seven minute thing and we know we don't do that. I'm chopping off some of this hair. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting at least two to three. I'm thinking two to three inches, three to four. I at least need to fix this because I have two different things going on. This side is more so giving like shape. This side is more so giving length or something, but it's not, give, it's not giving this. I miss this and I feel like my hair looks just different. Am I overreacting? Y'all, please don't be mean to me in the comments. I just, I feel like my hair's not the same. In conclusion, I guess I'll say, my hair looks fine. It looks fine. I don't think I need to do the big chop that I was thinking that I was gonna need to do because I was ready to cut off like majority of my hair and just leave enough so I can get some braids in. But I think, I think a good trim, a nice, good, healthy trim would be good for me. And basically just me getting back to taking care of my hair, like thoroughly. Like I really need to take better care of my hair because I have been slacking, you know, like with the wedding and the moving, I haven't really had time to give my hair the TLC that I used to. As you guys can tell, I haven't really been posting hair videos because I just wasn't really paying any attention to my hair. So I think my hair does live to see another day. A part of me was excited to chop it off to and start over, but I don't think there's really a need right now. I think she can be She could definitely be saved. I guess that's the conclusion of my hair. I am going to, I'm do a mini, a mini chop or a big trim and call it. We'll call it a big trim. I don't want to call it a mini chop. So we're gonna do a big trim probably in the next video. I'm thinking like three inches. I don't know if I should do it myself though, because I don't think I'm gonna give my hair the shape it needs. I might have to like go to a professional. Let me know what you guys think. Go to a professional, record it there, do it myself, record it at home. I'll give you a 360 in case we need to refer back to this video. Again, if I feel like my hair is falling out even more. So this is June 2022. And this is a 360 of my hair. I hope that was in focus. Um, all right, so at least the good news is we're gonna be getting some more hair videos. Um, since I'm gonna be back to taking care of my hair the way I used to, trying to figure out how to get these edges back because baby, they gone, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.